Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universal Monsters Michelangelo as the Mummy. It's the first one that I am looking at, and honestly, this is the one that I was most excited about. I just thought this looked so incredibly cool. If you are completely new to this and you've not seen this before, uh, this is a new line from NECA where they are mashing together the Ninja Turtles with the Universal Monsters. They're taking those two licenses, putting them together, and giving us these unique takes on the Turtles. Now, we've seen this in the past. I mean, obviously, if you're a fan of the vintage toy line, we got Universal Monster Turtles back then. And then it happened again in the 2012 toy line. So this is at least the third time we've seen Universal Monsters crossed over with the Turtles in action figure form. But one thing I think that is really cool about this is NECA did their own thing with it. So they didn't just redo the vintage Playmates toys figures. They did their own takes on everything. So the turtles are different monsters than what we saw in the vintage line. And we got Mikey playing the mummy. Now, one thing I love about this is the artwork. There's some beautiful artwork on the front of the box. And I know at first glance, you might think that that's a photograph of the toy. But if you look closer, you can see that that's artwork. That is beautiful artwork of the figure on the front of the box. And this goes all the way around to the backside, uh, where here we've got some great photography, but it's all arranged like a classic Universal Monster movie poster. I think this is so, so incredibly cool. Highlighted with the orange from Mikey's bandana on all the lettering. It looks really, really great. Down the side of the box over here, you can see the other figures that we've seen revealed in this line so far. Uh, the first release was the Raphael Frankenstein's monster mashup. We've got Leonardo as the Hunchback, and we've got April O'Neil coming soon as Bride of Frankenstein. And, of course, this is a great window box with Velcro, so you can open that up, which fully showcases our action figure, all the accessories in the window box, and again, more fantastic photography over here on the flap. So... Really, really nice box here. Everything looks great. That figure looks so cool. So let's get it pulled out of the box and get a closer look at it. All right, so we have got our mummy Mikey outside of the packaging. We'll go ahead and start with the tape measure here. So you can see that the figure stands shy of seven inches tall. He's around six and a half inches tall. Uh, and one thing that's really cool about this is that they have almost like a movie look to them, right? They've definitely gone for the more realistic look with the sculpting of these guys, almost as if these are like the movie costumes, but then universal monsterified. So it's pretty cool looking and definitely fits in with a lot of the other monster or horror type toys that NECA is known for making. Um, and this guy just looks incredible. I mean, the amount of details on this guy all the way around. Um, one of the things that I was blown away by immediately out of the box is the turtle shell because look at all of these hieroglyphics that are worked into the sculpting of the shell. But I love how so many of them are Ninja Turtles related. Like, look, we've got little ninja stars in here. There's a Foot Clan symbol up here. So it's like the shell is telling a story to us of the Ninja Turtles, much like the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics would. I think that is pretty cool. You can see the same thing going across the belt that he's wearing there. And uh, all of the weathering and everything on this guy looks incredible. Like the belt strap there definitely has this really great realistic leather look to it where it looks all worn and everything. I love the scarab belt buckle. I think that's a really nice touch. And then all of these wraps that are worked into the sculpt there, they look so dingy and dirty. I absolutely love it. But you can still see kind of the worn green turtle skin poking out from underneath in several spots there, uh, which is just so cool. Yeah, the overall look of this guy is absolutely amazing and of course that brings us to the head sculpt which is so so cool it's so creepy i love how he's got like the wrinkled mouth there you know got the very mummified look to him um, but the right eye is totally closed the left eye is just kind of like gazing slightly upwards as if he's undead um really neat looking and then like there's all these like little scratches and scars and wrinkles and everything in there Beautiful sculpt work all the way through and through. So, if you want to talk about articulation with these guys, uh, it is very similar to what we've seen on the other movie figures that NECA has produced. You can see that we're jointed at both the top and the bottom of the neck there. So the head is on a nice ball joint, but then the base of the neck is also jointed. So lots of movement there in the head and neck. The arms have the shoulder joints that allow the arms to go up to the sides, 
forwards and backwards. You've got double joints at the elbows there. So look at that. You can swivel up the bicep. Uh, then you can bend the elbows there with the pads that are perfectly covering it. Uh, and then, of course, the wrists can swivel and also have the hinges on there. Uh, the torso does seem pretty stiff in there with all the sculpting and the wraps and everything and the way the shells are. But we do have the ball joints at the thighs, which makes the legs go outwards, forwards, backwards, kind of roll all the way around there. You got swivels at the knee, double joints at the knee there that, again, the knee pads cover very nicely. And then the ankles can turn side to side as well as move up and down at the hinge joints there. You got that nice little pivot, which is really, really cool. So articulation feels really good. He's also nice and solid. He doesn't feel fragile uh, by any means. He stands really well on his own. I do want to point out I also love uh, the way the hands are molded, the uh, default hands that are on him there they just have this really like decrepit look to him right like he's just lurching around like a mummy i think that is so very cool but that is not the end of it because we've got lots of extra accessories now first of all he's got these two loose mummy wraps and i'll be perfectly honest i can't figure out where these go <laughs> I looked at all the photos on the packaging and it doesn't look like these are anywhere on there. Um, they seem to be molded in a specific way that would fit around. So I don't know if you're supposed to like just kind of drape them around the leg like that or around the neck. I I'm not honestly entirely sure. I guess they're just kind of extra wrappings that you could put or hang anywhere you want to. If you guys know, please let me know. I messed around with these and just really couldn't figure out exactly where those were supposed to go. Now, he does come with a slew of interchangeable parts. So, I mentioned those kind of lurching, decrepit mummy hands that he's got. But if you don't want those, he does also come with a pair of closed fists and a pair of gripping hands for his accessory. And it's easy to swap those out. You just pull the hand. The peg pops right out of the socket at the wrist. And you can pop the new hands in its place. So, you got different ways that you can display them. Uh, because, of course, he does also have his cool accessories, which he's got... Nunchunk, nunchucks in the form of what are these onks right is that what these are called the onks i think that is such a cool motif a really neat thing for the nunchucks to look like um and they're painted with this great kind of gold that still has a nice dry brushing on there they have metal chains golden chains there so he can hold those in his gripping hands if you want to but one of the other things that i liked he's got two of these by the way uh, as you can see that there are some bulges in the side of his belt on the sides here so you can actually store the nunchucks on both sides of the figure if you want him just to have the nunchucks in his belt there which is very cool he also comes with a snake why has it got to be snakes it's a bendy snake too which is really neat and it's very very flexible which is very nice really cool little extra thing there you got a nice snake that you can kind of pose next to him and then probably the best accessory in this entire set in my opinion is the alternate head so first of all very easy to swap this out. We just got the ball joint there. We can take the new head. We can pop it on in its place. And it is an insanely gruesome head where his lips are totally decayed. His teeth are all showing. And if you have been around for a while, you're a Turtles fan, you've seen photos online, then you probably know exactly what this is inspired by. This is inspired by one of the actual masks from the original films that is now rotting and it looks like this. And it's so cool to see them reference this sort of infamous photo of this rotting original mask and use it as Mummy Mikey. I think that is so genius. And I love that we now have that horrifying rotting turtle mask as an actual toy in our collections. So honestly, I love both of these head sculpts so much. I don't know exactly which one I'm going to display this with because this is this is crazy. I love that we got this. It's so, so incredibly cool. All right, guys, it's comparison time. So there's something I can do since I actually have these. I mentioned, of course, that we've seen Mummy Turtles in the past. The original line gave us a Universal Monsters Mummy Raphael and the 2012 series gave us a Monsters Mummy Leonardo. So now we've got three of the four turtles all rocking mummy motifs and I just thought it'd be really cool to show all of those together. So there you go, my friends. That is a look at the brand new Universal Monsters Mummy Michelangelo from the folks over at NECA Toys. I really like this figure. I think it's so fun that they're doing something that feels so turtles. It's just so iconic to mash the turtles with different 
franchises because it's been happening since the heyday in the 90s and this is a cool way for NECA to do it their way like I said they're not just mimicking what happened in the original toy line since they are known for their horror figures themselves they were able to take turtles and really give it the NECA treatment with the horror motif with universal monsters and I think mummy Mikey here specifically turned out really really cool uh, I think this is my personal favorite of the bunch so far so I do have to give a very special thanks to the folks at NECA Toys. They did provide this sample for the purposes of this review, but this is going to be hitting Target stores uh, very, very soon as part of the fall uh, NECA, fall whatever, you know, fall geek out. That's what they're calling it, right? Over at Target, where there's lots of new NECA product hitting stores, but it's also available for pre-order at lots of online toy stores. So very easy to get a hold of this guy. Thank you guys so very much for watching and until next time.